You know my name. Now give me my money. What's up? This is a very special episode of Hobby Fist Geo Guess. What makes it so special? I'm a bit drunk. Maybe not hammered, but I've had enough so far tonight to know them a bit inebriated, so we'll see how special this turns out. But it's your Monday for you and me. And the devil makes three. I'm still not sure if this is France or Quebec. But how are you doing, folks? Uh, you'll have to excuse me as I feel like continuing to indulge my mm, necessity for drinking a bit of alcohol, and I feel that this is probably Quebec. Uh, fun fact. I probably mentioned this before, but Quebec's license plate says Je me souviens, which believe... I probably mentioned this before, and you'll have to apologize. I'm apologizing a lot so far tonight that I probably mentioned this before, but it is I remember. And they will hold the entire country responsible for it as well. This is not meant to be in a derogatory moratorium upon the province of Quebec. You do you guys. You got the entire country to go along with it, so I'm not going to tell you you're doing anything wrong, because clearly it seems to be working for you, but I didn't want to be in this tangent. I just wanted to geo-guess my way around the world and have you be here with me as I do it. And again, thank you all for all the support you've had so far. I still feel like this is... Well, this is the U.S. because, number one, we're driving on this side of the road. I saw what the license plate looks like. License plates look like the kind you would find in America. That is a Mazda... 323? No, 323 maybe. That is a very old Plymouth Neon, I think. They don't make Plymouths anymore. It's a weird thing with Plymouths. That they were kind of just like... Anything Dodge made, they made Plymouths as well. Which was a weird idea of like, why are you making Plymouth? They're basically the exact same thing as Dodge. They even had the same name, Plymouth Neon, Dodge Neon. Uh, maybe all the other ones were actually different. I don't understand it. I don't make cars. All I know is that eventually they stopped making them. And another thing that lets me know that this is probably Quebec is, or at least Canada and not uh, France, they follow the same phone logic that we do here in the U.S., Again, don't know who came first. I'm just going by what I know and what I can associate it with. Doesn't mean that the U everybody in Canada is copying the U.S. It's just letting me know that my my uh, point of reference is from the U.S. because I grew up here, and that is what I use to as a point of reference. I've said that multiple times. Again, we spent four minutes. I'm not seeing much. Uh, we'll go on this side of the, uh, God, fuck, what is this river called? Uh, Richelieu? Oh, St. Lawrence, I'm an idiot. Richelieu is the river that goes in between Lake Champlain and, uh, the one I just said, St. Lawrence, excuse me. Um, this is, again, all over the place, as I'm sitting here sipping my, uh, hmm. Tequila and uh, Steltzer both said with the most proper of American English accents. Notre Dame of Metacini. Uh, they show it's a chocolate, chocolate, chocolatey. Again, uh, Notre Dame de Messini. Oh, we're up here. Oh, thank you, Google. I really wanted this. I don't want this. Uh, pardon me as I get back to here. Close you. Hit F11. Process. Okay, we're up there. It always weirded me out. Like, maybe not weirded me out is the wrong word. Just did not understand. Shit, what country is this? Um, I just didn't... Un I, and that was probably said six kilometers. I gotta go back this way. Come on. There we go. Like, how did the association with, like, uh... Um, what are they called? Whatever monks end up hanging out in their entire lives. 
compared to what nuns nunneries and what is this sp373 is this this is probably brazil sp sao paulo sp373 it weirded me out in how did the association between growing like living where friars do 373 and like they would they would make beer they can't even really drink beer. I mean, this is this is the level of my ignorance I have, which I'm 100% willing to admit. How do they like it's okay for them to make it for other people, but they can't have it themselves? Or like they they can make chocolate too. That seems I mean, it's selfless, good for them. But did 373 disappear? No, it's still here. Rodovia. All right, we found the and so it's around here. I'm just hoping that this is right. I have no idea again. I'm a little... Mm, not 100% as far as cognitive ability. So I may have seen whatever this is suggesting here. But I'm hoping that what I have so far, even with the countries that always give me issues, SP-326... Uh, I was going to see 326, that I am going to hopefully do well enough that it won't be as much of an issue. I almost feel like, wait, 364, it's 326, 364, no, okay. I'm hoping that if I can do this well, whilst a little drunk, inebriated, whatever you want to call it, that I'll do, it's like maybe I should just do these all the time like this, but I don't think my liver could handle that. I don't think I want to put myself through that because those days are by me. There was a time when I would, I have no idea. There was a time when uh, I was a bit younger that for about a month, I mean, I didn't drink excessive, but when I'd have like a beer, maybe once a day, once every other day. And the only other thing I would drink during that day might be water. And if I did, it was a little bit of water. There was not much drank of either, which was probably an issue and a concern. And my stomach felt real weird. And I eventually went to a doctor to be like, yo, my stomach feels weird. It hurts. What, what's, what's the deal? That was weird. It's a weird jump, but anyway. And he's like, uh, yeah, here's a bit of medication I think he gave me. And uh, take it and see what happens. Why am I going backwards when I click forwards? I don't understand. Am I at the end? I am not at the end. So I did, and I don't know if it was a combination of the medication or just time itself, but it went away. But I used that as a uh, sign to be like, yo, maybe I should take a look at what I've been doing for the past month or so and be like, all right, time to dial whatever I was doing back. And the only thing I could think of at the time was the amount of alcohol I was drinking, but it might have also had to do with the type, which was like a uh, citrusy, uh, okay. This was the 373. Oh, it was up here? Well, it was SP373. I was looking at something different. Excuse me. I still got the province right, so I'll give it that. So maybe it was a combination of this France again? No, this is Brazil. Oh, Brazil is Argentina. I'm an idiot. Los Malvinas son Argentinas. This place is big enough, long enough that I may get this, uh, this choice wrong. But what are you doing? Are you taking photo of me as I drive by? How dare you? This is an airport, I believe. Maybe it was this thing that gave it away, but the Rio Grande, the Atlantic Coast Provincial Reservation. So we're on the Atlantic Coast. Can I find a Rio Grande anywhere? Uh, but uh, I did not forget about what I was talking about. That seems to be a running trend with me with a lot of stuff is not finishing sentences and being interrupted by actually trying to get the best score I can on here, but anyway, as I was sitting there 
at the doctor's office taking a bit of a retrospective. I dialed some stuff back, and uh, lo and behold, it actually did go away. And like with anything you're going to find in life, the best solution for anything that's not cancer, gunshot wound, or being stabbed, moderation. Dial it back a bit. I mean, you can be like, well, is everything going to be fine? No, of course not. Stop being that guy who just wants to be a contrarian to make your point seem dumb when you know clearly well what they're talking about. Well, I don't know what you're talking about. Maybe you want me to just go ahead and take as many drugs as I can because you said moderation. No, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Just stop it. But anyway, the uh, what I was taking, I was like, all right, yeah, you know what? I will dial it back. Is this farther south? Oh, it's midair. It's not landing. We're on the water. Like I said, like that thing said, it was Atlantic Coast Reservation or whatever. This is like an Air Force Museum base. I don't think I'm going to find anything here that's going to help me. But anyway, the so that was kind of just the point of what I was talking about. This is, are we going to see any, this is going to help me, I think. This will help me. Pointing down there, I think we're farther south. I think we're farther south. Are we the Falk? I think we're Falklands. Are we Falklands? I'm not willing to make that bet, I think. I don't think I'm willing to make that bet just yet. I gotta see what this looks like. I gotta see this first. This is 100% the Falklands. Well, shit. Well, I'm going to click this one, then. They had a war here that I know very little about, which seems like something I should just look into. Kind of like Granada? No, that was Granada. Maybe it was both, and I'm just being as stupid. How do they get cars? Why am I like, why do they get cars here? How is that possible? Uh. I believe it was a fight between the Argentinians and the British. Or is that Granada? Because, again, I'm being stupid. But anyway, just to wrap up the thing I was talking about. Again, moderation. Don't go hardcore into one thing. Don't always get stuck in a rut because eventually that rut will be the end of you. You need variety. It's the spice of life, as they always say. I don't have any more catchphrases and isms I can put into that. But the best... Uh, uh, best way to learn is by doing, so if you don't believe me, just go ahead and keep what you're doing what you're doing. I guess I was wrong. And it was over here. But I saw the picture, it was that. Wait, it says... Rio Ground right there. I might have missed that, because I'm a blind idiot. I'll give it three stars, whatever. So, you don't have to take my word for it. Just take Future You's word for it, for telling you to talk back to anybody who was older than you who told you better. Just because you don't want to believe anybody who's older than you actually has any experience, regardless of them being old, just by default. They're older than you, they're gonna know some things just from experience. I mean, if you're willing to dismiss step one, which is, well, they're older than me, they may have lived through this, and maybe I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. Uh, if you're not able to get past step one, maybe re, re uh, re yeah, reevaluate. I don't want to sit here and just hound on young people because they'll never understand. Because as that old cliche says, we were all we were all young once. But I don't want to sit here and uh, be that guy. Tunnel. Why does everything have an umlaut? And this feels like Germany, but I don't think it is Germany. I need I need more information. Buyuk, it, this almost could be Turkey. Uh, this is this this is gonna tell me something. Tekozum democracy. Okay, maybe not. I felt like I had other things to talk about, and in the stupid ramble about probably something I've mentioned before, it's just disappeared. And I'm sorry about that. I mean, it, uh, you don't come to me for wisdom. If you do, mm, I'm sure there's smarter, more wiser people who could probably tell you more than what I'm babbling on about. 
Man, what the hell is this place? Like, this could be Turkey. And I don't know yet. I need, I need like, more. And I don't think I'm going to get it in the time I've got left, but... Let's just keep going and fingers crossed. Again, what I mentioned, what helps me kind of distinguish what I think is Turkish is Turkish kind of feels like a German language to me. Like, I, the the stupid, stupid of me would think that, well, it's Turkish, it has a little uh, Ottoman, which expanded quite a bit into the what was known at the time as the Fertile Crescent, although it's not anymore just because of uh, a lot of things. It would have more, like, I would think that Turkish would have more of a Arabic uh, tinge to it. But it doesn't. It feels like a weird German dialect. Maybe this sign will tell me something. All this is probably just saying, turn right, turn right. Yep. Fuck me. I got a minute left. I've got nothing. I mean, I can just probably click Turkey and hope I got the country right. But... There was something on that telephone pole. I don't know. Man. This... Uh, 30 seconds. Before I forget, I'll just put, like, right here before anything bad happens. Man. This, this one might get me, and get me badly. I mean, granted, I said the Falklands, but that's still part of Argentina, so I'm not technically wrong. I guess it just makes me an asshole. I think that's what John Goodman's character said. Or was that the... No, that was the dude. Man, alright, got three seconds. It's either Germany or Turkey, we're gonna find out right now. That oh, was Turkey, alright, fine. Although this is a huge guess off. I got the country right still. Two stars. Because that's more of a vote for me. Ugh, this is going to be crappy America. Because the quality is terrible. 2014. Take a look there. That's a Pontiac Trans Am that just passed us. Which makes me think this is U.S. Other than just the quality. Because I don't have any other countries that drive Pontiacs. They don't make Pontiacs anymore. I believe when GM got their uh, bailout. One of the things they did to help pare down their company to I guess make it a bit more profitable was uh they got rid of Saturn and I believe they got rid of Pontiac as well this is a small trailer park consisting of three trailers I don't know if that consists of a park trailer park but that's kind of just what you would call it I grew up in one as a kid that's a cop behind us I think I'm not going to discourage trailers because I didn't own one. I just lived in it as a kid. I'm not going to disparage. What? Where'd the arrow keys go? What? What's happening? There it is. Uh, the water tower might help me. Water tower might help me. Let's back up twice. Water tower does not help me in any way. Man, this, this round has kind of flown by and I don't really know what I talked about other than... Don't have to respect your elders, just understand that maybe what you're going to go through, regardless of what you're actually going to do, is going to happen anyway, and maybe what they suggested might have been true anyway. Why am I talking about this again? I don't know. It's a speed trap thing, just letting you know. This is port something or other. This is just the worst quality. Oh, I'm just going to have to guess... The road, maybe that sign says the route we're on. I don't know if I, I cannot get down that road. Man, this is just bad. Can I get on the other side of the road? Oh, I can't. Is there a route sign right here? West 18. That does not tell me anything. It's just a route sign that is round. It feels like this is humid as fuck, and we're looking through a foggy ass glass here this feels like in the southeast somewhere i might click like here in kentucky just to cover this area because fuck that's a huge ass area 
this could be it this this is the US. I just can't tell you where because image quality is terrible. This is 2014. You Google, you got a billion dollars. You should be you probably do have better imaging this than this. Is this is just what you're willing to give to the public? But come on. How do you expect me to win a GeoGuess around with this quality? This is just insulting. Speed limit 45, this doesn't help me. Because again, if you're smart and you're willing to know what the speed limit is for non-highway um, roads, each state is different. Natchez and Vicksburg is down here, I believe. Uh, Vicksburg. I'm going to click here because I believe I saw Natchez before, or was that in... That was Georgia? Natchez, Vicksburg. I have to... I'm going to click in... I'm going to click here in Georgia. Because I know I saw Nat Natchez, Alabama, and Vicksburg. I'm going to click here. Uh... Yeah, I know I saw Natchez, and I think it was Alabama. I got the state wrong. It was Mississippi. In Port Gibson, huh? All right, I'll give you two stars. Wow. Somehow this round ended. <laughs> Don't ask me what I said. You're probably like, what happened? How would I end here? Because I've only taken a couple of sips of my... Uh, mm. Drinky poo here, but whatever. I took a guess on uh, Falklands. Was it the Falklands? Yeah, it was the Falklands. It was just some like memorial for Falklands. But whatever. This has been your GeoGuessr for a Monday. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you didn't, I apologize for the sloppiness. Maybe this time, just just know that Wednesday won't be the same. But if you liked it this way, let me know. I don't know how much cirrhosis I'm willing to give for the channel, but I'll give it a consideration if you've liked this. Regardless, let me know in the comments below. Uh, check out some of the other videos we're doing on the channel. Um, I'm recording this before I do anything else for the week. If I do, uh, it'll be a surprise. It's a surprise to you as it is much to me. So thank you all for watching. If at the least, we'll see you again on Wednesday. If not sooner, check out some of the other stuff we got in the channel. It's pretty magical. Uh, but hey, have a good day. I hope to see you soon.